As Dr. Seuss says, why fit in when you are born to stand out? The idea of beauty in our culture has been warped and misguided by big beauty and fashion marketing for years. And I am happy that a more inclusive mindset is starting to take hold in our culture that honors everyone's uniqueness. You can see this in the popularity of tattoos, vibrant hair colors, different body types being embraced and well represented. As cosmetic intervention is no different than those choices. As unfortunate as this may sound, we are very visual creatures, and if we become increasingly more so with the advent of television, computers, and phones that constantly feed our eyes and our minds an unending assortment of visual media. But I believe we can use this powerful trend for good of the whole, and instead of striving for perfection in ourselves and making what we want to see in ourselves and others about perfection, it can be all about appreciating our unique individuality and self-expression. Here are some thoughts on why behind seeking aesthetic practices and the significant impact it makes in people's lives that you would never know by looking at the surface. Is it self-absorbed or self-expression? Mostly in my experience, people are actually looking to appear more like who they feel on the inside rather than conforming to the outside ideal. Whether these people are looking to bring back vitality to their face after a long bout of illness, looking to bring more symmetry to their features, or just want to love what they see in the mirror, none of these are reasons or grounds for judgment. It is important to remember that in countless different ways we are choosing and augmenting our look to fit our taste. We do this regularly by going to the gym, getting our hair cut and colored, and choosing the clothes that we wear. This way of being is a walking canvas and is as old as human culture. When changing our aesthetic look meant something to the individual as well as to the culture as a whole. Some people seek intervention to fit in more with the general populace especially if they are having issues like acne, rosacea, or psoriasis. Others seek facial reconstruction because they truly enjoy a very done look and embrace standing out in a crowd. It's time to do away with the taboo that one's individual choice of how to display their vision of themselves somehow makes them less than or shallow. I have found that judgment does more harm to our society than any cosmetic intervention ever could. Studies prove over and over again that when we feel better about ourselves, the more confident we become, which leads to a more enjoyable feelings of success and satisfaction in life. This does not mean that you have to be perfect to be okay in the world or that the only way to get to the top of your career is to be young and beautiful. What I'm saying is that by directly dealing with a few of what you consider to be your rough edges, you might be surprised by the spring that comes back in your step. I cannot tell you how many times men and women who are first apprehensive about getting Botox end up telling me how much wiping the worried expression off their face changed their outlook on how they felt and what they could achieve in their lives. There are even scientific studies showing that Botox can help with alleviating depression and just maybe that change in perspective can inspire a more thoughtful action and can lead to a healthier, more balanced life. Here are some of the most common fears that I hear. There is a lot of conflicting information when it comes to the world of aesthetic medicine and skincare. And I have to say I'm always surprised with the amount of widespread urban myth that people just assume are true without much merit. Here are some of the largest aversions and fears that I hear about aesthetic intervention during my consultations. Number one, fear that someone will know they've had work done. Why is getting this kind of work done any different than getting your hair done? It's time to change this thinking and seriously, no one memorizes your face. We look at each other to read expressions and moods, but rarely do people commit to memory every curve and contour of your face. What people will notice is that you look refreshed, rested, and radiant, and not know what you've done. The irony here is the best work should be the least noticeable. Number two, fear that they will look different, which I find funny because most people want to come in and look a little bit different and more refreshed than the version that they're in currently. A truly skilled practitioner should be able to not only reassure you, but also deliver a result that gives you the change you're looking for without making you look like a stranger in the mirror. Remember that to make you look like a different human altogether would take significant surgical intervention. Number three, fear that they will look weird and unnatural. This is why it's important to choose the right practitioner and not go to the cheapest place. Number four, fear of living with results that you don't like. Not to worry, Botox only lasts three months, and hyaluronic acid fillers like Restylane and Juvederm are reversible. 
Number five, remember that Botox has been used medically for over 40 years. It was first used in children with wandering eyes. The medical field relies on its therapeutic use. Also, it is good to know that medical doses of Botox can be 20 times higher than cosmetic use, so there's very little risk of any long-term or negative effects. Number six, some people are afraid to start aesthetic intervention because they feel that if at any point they wanna stop, they will look worse. This is simply not true. What is true is you won't want to stop. You will love the way you look and feel. And even if you only do it once, you have just slowed the aging process during the duration of the effects because products like dermal fillers build collagen and give long-term anti-aging improvements. Another fear is spousal or well-meaning family and friends encouragement not to have anything done because they love you just the way you are. But the truth is, they are just afraid that you'll look a little bit different. This leads to many secret office visits with closed-minded family members being none the wiser. And by the way, no wonder they think you look great. Some fear that they are not worthy of the expense of aesthetics or skincare. Again, studies prove over and over again that when we feel better about ourselves, the more confident we become, which leads to a more enjoyable feelings of success and satisfaction. You can actually save more money with investing in your own satisfaction. Spending money on products that actually work, like Michael Christie, will save you from purchasing excessive products. Spending money on procedures that make you look and feel great might actually decrease your need for retail therapy. Don't be afraid to take care of yourself and give yourself the skin and look that you love. If you are not sure where to start, read my book, Your Beauty Advocate, a way to cultivate confidence with this no-nonsense guide to age-defying skincare products and procedures.